start genius kids quiz 20 here we go the first round three questions on current affairs let's see the first question what is the name of the chinese rocket which fell to the indian ocean a few days ago is it antares is it jiu Quan? is it reba one or long march 5b What is the name of the Chinese rocket which fell to the Indian Ocean a few days ago? And the correct answer is Long March 5B. Only 22 got it correct and 18 thought it is it was Jiu Huan. Uh, the Long March 5B rocket uh, fell into the Indian Ocean a few days ago near Maldives. And the leaderboard after the first question. Um, Sanko is in the lead with 966 points, Arthur the Great in second place, Minak in third place, AU in fourth place, and Dr. Virula in fifth place. The second question. The Israel-Palestine conflict started a few days ago. What is the capital city of Israel? Jerusalem, Ramallah, Gaza, or Baghdad? And the correct answer is Jerusalem. Well done, 38 got it correct. Um, Ramallah is considered as the capital or the administrative state of Palestine. But Palestine, um, it was on, uh, it was uh, caught by several countries uh, during the past years. Now, um, some say that uh, mostly it is considered as a state of Israel. Uh, Omed, what's the capital city of um, Palestine? It is Ramallah. Thank you. Okay, so after the second question, Sanka is in first place, Arthur the Great in second place. Dr. Virula climbs up to third place, AU in fourth place, and Lancelot in fifth place. The last question of the current affairs uh, uh, round. The Sinopharm vaccine is a vaccine made by which country? Germany, India, China, or USA. The Sinopharm vaccine is a vaccine made by which country? And the correct answer is China. Well done. 39 got it correct. And AU climbs up to third place. So the leaderboard is changing from question to question and the top five are nearly like all are in 2,800. Like uh, Sanuka is in first place with 2,885 points. Art of the Great, 2,856. AU, 2,830. Dr. Virla, uh, 2,824. And Lancelot, 2,811. So the margin is very narrow. So the leaderboard can change question by question. And let's move on to round number two. Four questions on geography and country facts. First question, what is the nearest sea located to the west of Sri Lanka? Arabian Sea, Lakadu Sea, Banda Sea or Andaman Sea? The nearest sea located to the west of Sri Lanka. The correct answer is Laka Dew Sea. Only five got it correct, and 37 thought it was the Arabian Sea. So the Laka Dew Sea um, is um, in the territory or the countries of Maldives, India, and um, Sri Lanka. And to the nearest, uh, the nearest sea located to the west of Sri Lanka is Laka Dew Sea. The Arabian Sea is located more west. To the Lakadu Sea. And the Andaman Sea is located uh, northeast or east from Sri Lanka. Only five got it correct. Well done. And AU climbs up to first place with 3,535 points. Sanko in second place, Arthur the Great in third place, Dr. Gula in fourth place, and Lancelot in fifth place. 
It was a very tough round. Nine players lost their answer streak of three. And let's move on to the next one. Choose the wrong capital city for the country. Costa Rica, San Jose, Venezuela, Caracas, Puerto Rico, San Juan, or Colombia, Medellin. Choose the wrong capital. Uh, choose the wrong capital city for the country, and it is Colombia, Medellin. The capital of Colombia is Bogota. Okay, and Lancelot comes into fourth place, and four players just hit an answer streak of five. Well done. And let's check out the next question of the geography and country facts round. From the following, what is a double landlocked district of Sri Lanka? Kolonarwa, Kandy, Kegol, or Badulla? From the following, what is a double landlocked district of Sri Lanka? Okay, so the correct answer is Kandy. 19 got it correct. Um, 7 thought it was Polonarua, 8 thought it was Kegol, and 16 thought it was Badulla. Okay, so let's see the leaderboard. And Dr. Badulla comes up to second place. Sorry? Yeah, what's oh, what the link? Sorry, what is the? What does double land lock mean? Yeah, I will tell about that. I have uh, prepared a slide for the um, next one. I will uh, share that after this um, question. So Dr. Villa climbs up to second place. First place is in third place and Sanu climbs up to fourth place. Yeah, what is the, okay. Aya, and place, what is the link? Is, Maybe just one now. Yeah, I will tell about the link, the Genius Kids link later after the quiz. So this is, uh, so I was asking about a double landlock district. So a landlock district, uh, we are saying like landlock countries. So as an example, Afghanistan or like, uh, let's say Kazakhstan, those are landlock countries. But if you take double landlock, it is, um, as an example, it is Uzbekistan. Double landlock means a country um, surrounded or bordered by other countries which doesn't have oceans or which doesn't touch the ocean. So here I asked about a district. So here you can see Kandy and it, it borders Kurunagara, Matale, uh, here Badulla, Nuaredia, and Kegod. So, Badulla, Noradia, Kegol, Kurnagal, and Matale also uh, don't have um, oceans or a coast, uh, coastline. So, Kandy is a double landlocked district. But Kegol, Kurnagal, um, those are not um, double landlocked because Kegol touches Gampaha, which, is, which Gampaha has a um, coastline. Next question, what is the smallest state in Australia by area? I, can you send the link in chat? Yeah, I will um, send the link after the quiz. You are asking for the game pin or the uh, genius kids link? Uh, the game pin. Ah, the game pin I have already put in the chat. And you can see the game pin right here. At the bottom of the screen, it is six two seven two two three eight. This is the game pin. So the question: What is the smallest state in Australia by area? It is Tasmania. Victoria is the second smallest uh, state in Australia. Okay, and Sanuka climbs up to fourth place once again, and Vidapir is is in fifth place. Nice. Sherlock is back with an answer streak of. Great, well done. Okay, the next round, three questions about science and technology. So let's see, first question. What is this animal? Buffalo, world beast, ox or yak? What is this animal, the animal in the picture? Buffalo, world beast, ox 
or yak. It's a, it's a bit of a tricky question. And the correct answer is wildebeest. Uh, this is the wildebeest and 31 got it correct. Okay, and Sanuka climbs up to third place. Second question in the third round. This person is the CEO of which company? Louis Vuitton, Google, Microsoft, or Intel? This person is the CEO or the chief executive officer of which company? Yes, it is Microsoft. So um, he is Satya Nadella and he is the CEO of Microsoft. Uh, so on the 16 got it correct, the correct answer is Microsoft. He thought it was Louis Vuitton, 12 thought it was Google. So the CEO of Google is Sundar Pichai and 21 thought it was Intel. Okay, no change in the leaderboard. And let's see the last question of this round. Arrange the following elements in correct order to correct order according to the periodic table. Helium, oxygen, sodium, boron. Helium, boron, oxygen, sodium. Boron, helium, sodium, oxygen. Or helium, boron, sodium, oxygen. So these are the four elements I have put. Um, you have to arrange the following elements in correct order according to the periodic table. Okay, time's up and the correct answer, helium, boron, oxygen, sodium. So 32 got it correct. Helium is the second element, boron is the fifth, oxygen is the eighth element and sodium is the eleventh. And you can see the leaderboard and no change in the leaderboard, AU is in first place. And closely following him in second place, it is Dr. Virula. Sanuka in third place, first place in fourth place, and Vidat in fifth place. Well done. Himash is the highest climber after that question. So if, um, if the Kahoot is a bit slow for you, you can close all the other apps in your answering device except for the Kahoot app or the web browser you are answering via Kahoot. And um, if you get disconnected, you can always rejoin from the game pin. 6272238. We'll see the next round. Fourth round, history, three questions. So sometimes there will be easy questions, or at that time you can answer really fast. And if there are like hard questions, you have you can think or like guess and answer. We'll check the first question. In which year did the first person go to space? Yuri Gagarin. 1952, 1961, 1961, or 1974? In which year did the first person go to space? Is 1961. Well done, 31 of you got it correct. So Yuri Gagarin went to space in 1961 in the spacecraft or the rocket called was stuck. And Dr. Widler climbs up to first place with 8,928 points. And Vidat has a streak with 11 correct answers in a row. Well done, Vidat. And let's uh, hop on to the next question. Who was the vice president of the USA when George W. Bush Jr., the 43rd, was president? Hubert Humphrey, Al Gore, Dick Cheney, or the Gerald Ford.
and the correct answer is Dick Cheney, uh, 26 or correct. So Dick Cheney was the vice president of USA when George W. Bush Jr., the 43rd, was president from 2001 to 2009. So Al Gore was the vice president when Bill Clinton was the president. Gerald Ford was the vice president of the USA when Richard Nixon was president. And Hubert Humphrey was the vice president of USA um, when Lyndon B. Johnson was president. And here we have a change. AU climbs up to first place. Sanka in second. Dr. Wilger drops down to third place. First place in fourth place and Vidat in fifth place. Three in a row. Pesanga Bro is back in the game. The next question. Who is this person? This is the last question of this round. Richard Gotabi Sena Naika, Don Stefan Sena Naika, Frederick Tissa Sena Naika, or Dudley Sena Naika. Who is this person? Okay, so the correct answer, it is Dudley Sena Naika, the son of uh, Don Stefan Sena Naika. And Keanu Reeves come into fifth place and Ranush is the highest climber for that question. Okay, so the fifth round, arts, music, and movie. So for some time, I have not, I couldn't add some arts questions, but today there is one art question, one music question, and three movie questions. And altogether, there will be five questions in this round. Let's see how well you know the answer. From the following, what is not a movie which is expected to release in 2021? Spider-Man, No Way Home, Chicken Run 2, Luca, or Space Jam, A New Legacy. The correct answer is Chicken Run 2. 27 got it correct. So Chicken Run 2 is except, uh, expected to release at the end of 2022 or in the beginning of 2023. And 18 thought it was Spider-Man, no way home. Aya, Correct I answer, chicken run. And, and, Aya, I got removed and when I tried to join, like it shows that my name is already taken. Then it came yeah, my name. So, uh, Andy, you can add like one in front of your nickname. So as an example, if it is AU, um, as an example, if it is AU, the, then uh, he can add AU and one or AU and something ahead of that. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so Vidat Pires comes into uh, fifth place once again with 8,950 points. Tough round, five players lost their answer streak of four. Okay, so. Let's see the next one. What is the name of this fictional character? Donkey, Foley, Pluto, or Eo? What is the name of this fictional character? And the correct answer, it is Eo. 33, you got it correct. So this is Eo, and um, the animal it is a donkey, and um, Eo is from the Pooh Bear movie series. And Au is in first place, Hanukkah in second place, first uh, Doctor Vidra in third place, first place in fourth place, and Vidat in fifth place. Let's uh, check the next one. The next question: What is the name of the instrument held by the Saraswati goddess? This is the instrument. Karangi, Esraj, Veena, or Sita. The instrument held by the Saraswati goddess. Karangi, Esraj, Veena, or Sita. And the correct answer, it is Veena. So this is the Veena. 
on the 18 got it correct and 28 thought it was sita so the sarangi veena sita all the three instruments are much much similar to each other and this instrument it is veena okay so dr virla climbs up to second place with 11590 points and six points behind it is sanuka in third place uh, first place in fourth place and vida in fifth place next question in this round the finding nemo movie features which city sydney miami kingston or florida sydney miami kingston or florida And it features the Sydney city. 29 got it correct. And once again, Sanuka climbs up to second place. AU is in first place. Dr. Wilber drops down to third place. Three in a row. NNN is back in the game. Well done. Here we go. The last question of this round. Who drew this famous painting? Sandro. Botticelli, Michelangelo, Vincent Van Gogh, or Pablo Picasso? Who drew this famous painting? And the correct answer is Vincent Van Gogh. So this picture is the fort, um, yeah, so this picture is the portrait of Vincent Van Gogh. You know, changing the leaderboard and up eight places. Ruanica is the highest climber after that question. So I hope everyone is enjoying today's quiz, uh, Genius Kids Quiz 20 and learning something new. Okay, so the sixth round, sports. There will be two questions. Who is the player with the most number of T20 wickets, international plus Domestic T20s. Imran Tahir, Dwayne Bravo, Lasit Malinga, or Rashid Khan. The player with the most number of T20 wickets, international plus domestic T20s. Yes, the correct answer is Dwayne Bravo. Only nine got it correct. The correct answer is Dwayne Bravo. He has taken uh, 518 because I asked not on the international, international plus domestic T20s. So Lasit Malinga is the player with the uh, third most highest number of T20 in, because international and the domestic uh, both. And he has taken 390 wickets. But in international, on, if it is international only, it is Lasit Malinga with the most wickets. And Imran Tahir in the international and domestic T20s, he has taken 386 and Rashid Khan 360 wickets. So that was a tricky question. Only nine got it correct. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. From the following, who is not a football player? Tony Cruz, Sergio Aguero. Gareth Bale or Owen Farrell, who is not a football player. And the correct answer is Owen Farrell. Owen Farrell is a um, rugby player from England. 23 got it correct. And all five in the leaderboard. Or correct and no change. Three in a row. Azerty is back in the game. Okay, that concludes the sixth round. And now we are moving on to the last round. Seven question in the genius round. So this round, you can take the help of a, a paper and pencil. There are some uh, sums, like math questions, that you have to make the sums and answer. And don't just guess and answer. You have to think very well and answer. So 
the last questions, uh, they were like 20 seconds or like that, 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So here, mostly there will be 60 or 90 seconds for, uh, for you to answer. Find the missing number. Here, the pattern. Uh, the first pattern is 3110, the second 4325, the third one 1417, and the last one 25 blank. Is it 13, 29, 21, or 15? So you have time more than 100 seconds. You can think or make the sum and answer. Find the missing number. you have to find the missing number. The first pattern it is 3110, the second it is 4325, then it is 1417, the last it is 2, 5 and a blank. 13, 29, 21 or 15. 30 answers given so far. Okay, so only 30 seconds remaining. Find the missing number. The answers given by me are 13, 29, 21, or 15. The answers are coming slowly. Let's see. Yes, the correct answer is 29, 24, if you got the correct, and 18 thought it was 21, 10 thought it was 15, and 13 thought, oh, sorry, 4 thought it was 13. Um, so here, the pattern, um, 24 got it correct. So here, 3, 1, 10. So 3 squared, or 3 times 3, it is 9, plus 1 times 1, it is 1, three, uh, 9 plus 1, 10. Then here, 4 squared plus 3 squared, uh, which is 16 plus 9, 25. Here, 1 squared plus 4 squared, which is uh, 16 plus 1, which is 17. And the last pattern, 2 squared, which is 4, and 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, 25. 25 plus 4, 29. Only 24 got it correct. Okay, and runtime terror comes into fourth place um, with 13,274 points. Up nine places. Chitira is the highest climber. Okay, six questions remaining. Let's see the next one. What is the answer? Here, yeah, the um, question um, a lot of sevens. The answers given by me are 43, 47, 56, or 50. What is the answer? What is the answer? Um, is it 43? Is it 47? Is it 56? Or is it 50? Over 40 answers given. Uh, the time time is nearly up. Three, two, one. 
Here we will reveal the answer. It is 50. Oh, 27 thought it was 50 and all of them got it correct. 27 got it correct. And 25 of you thought it was 56. And 3 thought it was 43. No one thought it was 47. So the correct answer, 50. It is like a, a, a very uh, divided into the two answers, 56 and 50. So according to Bodmer's, which means brackets of division, multiplication, um, but then addition and subtraction. So if you go that way, you have to do the division first, then seven divided by seven, which is one, then seven times seven, the multiplication, then it is also, then this 49. Then you can see this plus. So for, there are two pluses and a minus. So seven plus one plus 49 minus seven, the correct answer will be 50. Well done, 27 of you got it correct. And run, run time terror climbs up to third place with 14,216 points. Nice, Dani R is back with an answer streak of three. Let's see the next one. Okay, rearrange the jumbled letters and you would get the name of a P O H N L D I. P O H N L D I. You have to uh, rearrange the jumbled letters and you would get a name of a mollusca, a mammal, a reptile, or a fish. Yes, the correct answer is mammal. Well done, 30 got it correct. Um, so here, uh, P-O-H-N-L-D-I. When you rearrange, you would get the name of dolphin. And the dolphin is a mammal. And Dr. Villa climbs up to third place once again. Tough round, three players lost their answer streak of three. So like, if you um, guess the... Uh, jumble letters and you like um, think it is dolphin and you first think that it is a fish but actually the dolphin is not a fish it is a mammal complete the pattern 5 9 17 33 and 3 blanks is it 77 166 312 is it 73 147 295, is it 56, 144, 100, uh, 296, or Okay, 50 seconds remaining. Complete the pattern. 5, 9, 17, 33, and 3 blank remaining. You have to, um, you have to fill the blank. You have to press the correct answer. Complete the pattern, 5, 9, 17, 33, 3 blanks. The answer, it is 65, 129, and 257. Well done, 40 got it correct. So for the pattern, uh, 5, um, so this is, this goes the um, two, um, 2 squared pattern, like the 2 squared, then 2 into the power 2, 2 into the power 3, 2 into the power 4, in that way. So 5 plus 4. It is 9, 9, 8, 9 plus 8 is 17, 17 plus 16, 33, and um, then 33 plus 32, then 65, then 65 plus 64, 129 plus 128, and 
then the answer is 65, 129 to 157. Oh, yeah, there's another way, right? Yeah, like uh, you can reduce one number and add that. Like if it is five, then five plus four, nine, nine, and eight plus nine, 17. No, no, like, like, it's the twice uh, you've multiplied it by two and minus one, that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, there can be several methods. Okay, so AU is in first place, Sanuka in second place, Dr. Vidal in third place, Runtime Terror in fourth place, and first place in fifth place. Arthur the Great is back with an answer streak of three. Okay, let's um, see the next one. How many seconds are there in one day? 24 hours, 1,440. 1, Okay, so the correct answer for the number of seconds in one day, 24 hours, it is 86,400. So 1,140 uh, is the number of minutes in one day. And first place climbs to third place, runtime terror in fourth place, and Dr. Riddler in fifth place. Let's see um, there are uh, more questions. The next one. What is this sign? used in road maps so uh, here so the red one is the road and i'm asking about the, the uh, three uh, dash uh, signs like that uh, is it the road bridge road tunnel or under construction or causeway what is this sign used in road maps Yes, the correct answer, it is road tunnel. 22 got it correct. So the road bridge, uh, if it is a road bridge, mostly there will be a blue color thing like a river or something like that to show uh, the bridge. Mostly it is like that, but that one. Um, okay. So AU uh, is in first place, Sanka in second place, First place in third place, and Dr. Vidra climbs up to fourth place and run time terror in fifth place. So we are now going to the last question of Genius Quiz, quiz 20. So after this, uh, please don't leave. There are some important uh, messages, uh, messages and uh, some, uh, so I will tell about that after the quiz. There is something more to do. Um, let's see the last question of Genius Kids Quiz 20. What is the number that is one more than one tenth of one fifth of one half of four thousand? Two hundred one, forty one, eighty one, or one two one? Two hundred one, forty one, eighty one, or one hundred twenty one? Yes, it is 41. The answers have been divided um, a lot. 16 got it correct. It is 41. Uh, so I asked one more than one tenth of one fifth of one half of 4,000. So uh, uh, the, there are some easy methods. The first one is you can multiply 10 times 5 times 2. 10 times 5 it is 50. 50 times 2 it is 100. Then 4,000 divided by 100, it is 40, and plus 1, um, plus 1, you can get 41. If not, the other method is first um, um, checking um, the 110 or uh, dividing 4,000 by, uh, by 10 and then by 5 and then by half. 
um, those are the two methods, the two easy methods, and 41 uh, is the correct answer, 16 got it correct. And let's reveal the podium of Genius Kids quiz number 20. In third place, we have Dr. Virula, 20 out of 27 correct, Sanuka in second place. And the winner of Genius Kids quiz 20, it is AU with 19,157 points. First place in fourth place and run time error in fifth place.